My name is Carrie Wade. And anybody, when you jump on, if you can give me a thumbs up. I'm doing this a little different tonight. I'm doing this from my home office instead of... Oh. Oh, I think I'm having some technical difficulties. Okay. <laughs> Welcome. I think I'm live. This is Carrie Wade. And I'm going to be giving you some Reiki tonight. So if you're jumping on, if you can give me a thumbs up, if you can hear me and see me okay, I would really appreciate that. I usually do this from my phone. And I'm trying to do it from my computer tonight just because I like to make my life difficult sometimes. So if well you know what i'm not even seeing your comments oh my gosh i don't think i like this oh day hi i see it now hi welcome thank you can you hear me okay please just let me know real quick if you can and i'm gonna try i don't know if i can oh i don't know if i can uh share this out from my phone here but i'm gonna try well crap <laughs> I'm going to try. <laughs> Hi, Barbara. Welcome. Thank you. So I don't know if we have a little delay here. This is a different way. Day's giving me a thumbs up, so you're hearing me okay. You're seeing me okay. All right, great. Well, thank you for being here. Thank you for your patience and grace. Well, I set this up. Thank you. I just got the thumbs up from outside here, too. Thanks. <laughs> Karen says it does pause okay so hopefully we'll see we're gonna we're gonna go with this and do the best we can so I would like to share this out on my, my page if you would take a moment to share this out with your friends and family I'd really appreciate it I don't know where to look I guess up here I guess I have to look up here this is all new to me so <laughs> okay there it is um, oh shoot though Yes, yes, I'm going to be able to do this. So thank you for sharing this out. I appreciate that very much. Newsfeed. Okay. Well, I don't know. I might have just shared it back on my page. I don't know what I did. So anyway, that's okay. We're just going to roll with it. Welcome. Thank you for being here. We're going to be doing some Reiki tonight. If this is your first time here, hello, welcome. I'm so happy that you're here joining us as I fumble through this new setup here. <laughs> to just love new technology just felt like a change you know um oh thank you for sharing barbara i appreciate that so i'm gonna hope that this just all flows smoothly and that my internet doesn't be bop out of here like it does sometimes um that was the reason i started doing it on my phone in the first place because the internet would cut out so but my cellular isn't always 100 percent here either so you know sometimes it's just meant to be that that happens i guess Tonight we're going to be doing some Reiki. Reiki is a spiritually guided life force energy. It is um, an energy that we use for healing, for any kind of healing, whether it's physical or mental, emotional, spiritual, whether uh, you need healing around a situation or a relationship. You can call in this beautiful energy and just allow it to flow through you. I'm going to set my intention to send it to you and all you have to do is set your intention to receive it. It really is that simple. Since it is an energy we can connect virtually like this. We don't have to be hands-on. Um, I do in-person sessions in my office here in Chandler, Arizona. And I also do remote and Zoom sessions. So you can find out more on my website, which is carryweight.com. There should also be a button on my Facebook page. If you're not following my page, I would love for you to do so. And um, so you don't miss anything really exciting that I do in my life. You know? <laughs> so how's everybody doing today? It's been kind of a wonky week with this full moon for me uh, being Scorpio. I think this full moon has been even extra intense. Uh, it, they're, you know, scorpions, they're kind of deep sometimes. And uh, and we kind of go to that that deeper, darker place at times. And, you know, it's, a, it's an emotional thing. It's not like 
deep, dark, you know, evil stuff or anything like that. I'm not saying that. <laughs> but, uh, you know, doing, taking those, those deep dives into our emotions and our thoughts and our feelings can be a little bit, uh, crazy at times. Hi, Janine. Thank you for being here tonight. Okay. So all you have to do tonight, you have the easy part, I hope. All you have to do is to set your intention. And we're just going to do a little bit of breathing to start. I continue to get really great feedback about the square breath or the box breathing. So I'll go ahead and guide you through that. If you have a different kind of breathing you'd like to do, by all means, uh, please do it. Last week we did the ocean breath. And that one for me is a very relaxing and calming breath. So you might want to try that one instead, if you remember from last week. If not, you can go back and watch the video later. I, I uh, post them up here afterwards and also onto my YouTube channel. So, um, box breathing though, or square breath, is basically breathing in a square. So what we're doing is on the, on the inhale, we're going to breathe in, and then we're going to hold it. So my square's going backwards with this camera. Okay, so we're going to breathe in. We're going to hold, we're going to breathe out, and we're going to hold. I'm going to be doing it for a count of four. I'll guide you through the first couple of rounds. And then if you want to go slower or you want to go faster, you can do that. This is a breathing technique that is taught to the Navy SEALs to bring calm. Um, that's a pretty high, highly intensive job, I would say. And so you know if they're teaching it to these guys, it's got to be something really great, right? That's how I feel about it anyway. So go ahead and just get comfortable. If you can be someplace where you can just kind of shut off for a minute. Maybe you're lying down. Maybe you're sitting up. Whatever's comfortable for you. And just we're just going to do some breathing. You can shut your eyes if that's comfortable. So remember, we're going to breathe into a count of four, the side of the box, hold it, out, hold. Okay, does that make, make sense? It helps, it helps, at least for me, it helps um, while doing this with the eyes closed. If you're actually imagining yourself breathing in that square, just picturing, visualizing that square as you breathe. So let's give this a shot. So go ahead and let's inhale to the count of four. One, two, three, four. Hold it. One, two, three, four. Exhale. One, two, three, four. And hold. One, two, three, four. Again together, breathing in. One, two, three, four, holding, one, two, three, four, releasing, one, two, three, four, holding, one, two, three, four. And just go ahead and continue at your own pace and visualize that box as you're breathing. Turn the music here a little bit. It is recommended that you practice this breathing for 10 minutes a day. If you can do longer, that's great. If you can only do two minutes, that's great. But just um, maybe make it a goal, if you'd like, to start practicing this breathing technique or any breathing technique for 10 minutes a day. 
The breath is the most powerful tool we have for letting go of anxiety and depression, um, feeling that chaotic mess around us. <laughs> Life is messy sometimes, always, most of the time. And it's okay. We can bring our control back with our breath. Okay, so just start practicing. I would put that invitation out to you. I think it's really important. And I'm going to go ahead and start bringing in the Reiki. Reiki energy is smart energy. It's going to go where it's needed the most. It's going to start at the root level and it's going to work its way through every level of your being. So it's going to work from the spiritual level through the emotional, the mental, and to the physical level. If you have a specific intention, I think it's wonderful to set that intention. If you don't have anything specific, that's great too, because it's going to go to where you need it. Okay, that's the, one of the beauties of Reiki. Reiki never does harm. It's very calming and peaceful. I would also encourage you, if you are feeling called to learn Reiki, the world could use more Reiki. There are Reiki teachers that do live classes or do live classes over Zoom. I have a home study course. If you'd like to do that, you uh, it's basically a private Facebook group that has videos and the um, the manual for Reiki. Sorry, doing my symbols. There are th there are three different levels that I teach. I teach Reiki one, Reiki two. And then my third level is actually the master and teacher class combined. Some, some teachers teach it in four levels. And so, sorry, no such. And so what, uh, if you're called to do that at all, you can get more information on my website or definitely reach out to me. It's very affordable. Once you've gone through all the class materials, you and I, if you're here local, we'll set up a time to meet in person if you like or on Zoom, if you're not local. I work with people all over the world. And we will um, do your attunements that way. So you do the self-study and then we do the attunements one-on-one. -on -one. The attunements is, is really where we're, we are, the master is giving the Reiki energy to the student. So, kind of blow them into your chakras, metaphorically speaking. It's a very beautiful sacred ritual and um, it's a beautiful ancient practice. Uh, we've been healing with our hands and through our hands for all of time. So this isn't anything that's new. Uh, I get annoyed sometimes when people call it new age because it really isn't. It's ancient wisdom. And it is absolutely love-based and it is from the heart and it should always be practiced that way. So if you're still doing your square breath or ocean breath or whatever kind of deep breathing, kudos to you. This is your opportunity to just pop in once a week and fill your cup up. I know all of you beautiful people, you do so much for so many. And you can deplete your own reserves in doing all of that, right? especially in these times when people have had kids home from school and spouses home from work and 
<laughs> whatever it may be. You need to refill your cup, all right? Self-care is not selfish. Mm. It's essential. I always say you can't pour from an empty cup, right? The Reiki experience is different for everyone. Some people actually feel the energy moving around in their bodies. Some people just feel a shift taking place. There can be some numbness and tingling. Sometimes you'll feel hot or cold. Sometimes you'll just see colors. We have a lot of buzzing in our heads tonight. <laughs> Anybody have like a little little mouse on a wheel going around in your brain 24-7? It's our humanness. There's nothing wrong with it. But when we can just let that become background noise for a little bit, that's where the real healing takes place. Doing a breath work practice or a breathing practice is also a beautiful way to begin to learn how to meditate. Maybe you've always wanted to meditate and you find it so hard because you just can't shut your mind up. Well, you will probably never shut your mind up. It's always going to be there to some extent. So allowing it just to become background noise. It's amazing. I'd like to invite you to, if you feel called to do so, if there's anything specific you'd like some healing around that you want to share with the rest of us here. I know some of my, my fellow Reiki practitioners jump on here. And feel free to put anything in the comments 
that you would like to have some healing around or some healing on. And I will definitely set my intention to send that to you. And I would invite any of my fellow Reiki practitioners to join in with me to send out that extra healing, that extra Reiki. of you who are putting comments in on what you'd like some healing around, please know that I see you and I'm offering up this healing to you right now, directly. And I have three other friends I'd really like to offer some extra Reiki to. Right now, a friend of mine lost his mother over the weekend in a car accident. Another friend is having some major, major medical issues. And another friend is having a surgery tomorrow. So please know that I am sending this love and this healing energy to all of you. Fibromyalgia, brain issues, I hear you, back and sciatic nerve pain, I got you girl, they sell your body. Monica, your heart, your body. Yeah. I see you. Also want to remind you guys that we'll be uh, pulling a postcard from Spirit at the end as well. So I'll be sharing a beautiful message with you 
from the deck by Colette Baron Reed. Friends, you're very welcome. Thank you. Thank you for being here. For sharing your beautiful, loving energy with this group every week. It's not just me. You all bring a component to this time together, and I appreciate it. And I know it, and I see it, and I feel it very much. So thank you for doing that. I'm going to go ahead and close out our Reiki here. And I want you to know that every week when I do these, I set the intention that whenever you watch this, whether it's live or on a replay, that this energy is coming to you. And so if you ever want to go back and just sit with the volume off even, <laughs> get the energy, you certainly can. It's always there and available to you. So. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm going to pull a postcard from Spirit now. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Casey, hi, thank you for being here. Thank, thank you for being here, Jenny, I see you. Ah, Monica, Lisa. Oh yeah, day has been pretty intense for the Virgo, huh? <laughs> yeah, this full moon energy. And then I heard something about Pluto going Retrograde, I think that happened today. It was like within 24 hours of the of the full moon in Scorpio, which from what I don't I don't do astrology, so I don't understand it all, but I listen to the people that know it. And yeah, that's another one that can be kind of intense. So there's a lot going on there. So postcards from spirit. This is a deck by Colette Baron Reed. I show you here, it's gonna be backwards, and that's okay. My whole thing is, I'm all backwards here. <gasps> it's not backwards, it's right. Okay, that's that's why I feel backwards. <laughs> Cause it's right. <laughs> oh my gosh. So it's called Postcards from Spirit. It's an Oracle deck by Colette Baron Reed. This one is like just jumping here. And they're beautiful messages, and I love sharing these. So, maybe just close your eyes again for a moment and just take in this message. Take it into your heart. Dearest you, we have a secret for you. The more you think you know, the less, less you actually do. <laughs> So if you're willing to keep an open mind, you will avoid the narrow confines of the know-it-all and open up to the unlimited potential 
that can be discovered only by the curious optimist. Curiosity allows you to discover new things, see the world from a different perspective, and find answers to questions you might not even know that you have. Right now, whatever is going on, it's important to know that you are not aware of all the aspects of it you need to see to make an informed choice. You might be projecting a story that isn't totally true. So, moving forward, your mantra could be, I don't know, or that's interesting. As you keep your mind and heart open to new experiences and a richer existence overall, all of us over here want you to be all you can be. We are cheering for you. Can you hear us? Ah, isn't that beautiful? I love these cards. Everybody needs to have this deck, I'm telling you. They are so meaningful and so beautiful. And it's always just the right message at the right time. So let's see what's going on over here. Oh, thank you. Thank you for sending your love and energy out, Jay. You are so sweet. and You are always here and you're always sharing and, and spreading those good vibes everywhere you go. If you guys aren't friends with Day Alley on here, you need to send her a friend request. She's an amazing person. And she is a gifted writer. And I hope that you're putting that out there, Day, because you write the most beautiful poems. She wrote one about the full moon last night. And I was just like, wow. So go make a new friend tonight and friend day and watch her beautiful posts. If you're not in our private group, which is called, what's it called? Love, Laugh, Connect. Please come and join us. Um, it, you just need to send a thing requesting to be part of the group. We are just sharing things on there that make us laugh. Sometimes it's kind of raunchy, and that's okay. It's a free form. And positive vibes, you know, things that inspire us and that, um, you know, support one another. Things that are uplifting. So we don't talk about politics. We don't talk about any yucky stuff. <laughs> <laughs> it's all good. It's called Love, Laugh, Connect. So, go join. I hope you come and join us there. So, so I guess that's it. I guess that's all we have tonight. As you can, if you see over over my shoulder over here, um, I can't point to it. Oh my God, this is so weird. The camera being <laughs> backwards. There, almost got it. No, nope, that way. Um. <laughs> I'm cracking myself up here. Mother Mary over my shoulder. This is the most, I'll have to show you guys a close up of it sometime because it's really an amazing little piece that I bought down in Mexico several years ago. And within that painting, there are a whole bunch of other pictures. There's like the face of Christ is in there. There are um, oh, all kinds of different symbols in it. And it was just, it was like one of those things that I walked by and looked at it, and it circled back around, circled back around, and it's like, it's just gotta go home with me, and I just love it, so. Mother Mary is here with us tonight. She has, she has been a part of my readings for the last couple of years since I started doing the Karuna Reiki. Uh, a few years, I guess it's been now. That's when she really became very present for me in, in, uh, in my work, so. Anyway, um, thank you for being here. I'll stop rattling on. And uh, now you are a sweet day. <laughs> thank you. Thank you all for being here and for lending your energy and being part of this group. And I will see you next week. So come with your intention and yeah, we'll party it up again. And maybe I'll uh, like not have to try to figure out what the hell I'm doing on this new platform here, on this new setup. Maybe. No promises. I love you guys. Have a great week and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.